Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Retrolectors in his basement with another epic, epic pickup video. I am I got 22 big titles uh, on my list, basically right off my list. I'm amazed that I got them and I would like to give a special shout out to Sid Bolton. Thank you very much for these 22 games. The story goes that we went to uh, Sid's place like you saw in the last uh, Who's Who of YouTube. We went to his place and we did a shoot of his entire collection, an amazing collection that we 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 went to go see. And while we were there, he uh, he gave me 22 games. There was a 30 game lot. I only needed 22 of the 20, uh, of the 30, so I just decided rather than take the extra eight uh, and try to resell them, let me just take what I need and go about my merry way. So I ended up doing that. I'm really really happy with what I have. A lot of these games are sealed. There's about seven or eight sealed. I'm really, really ecstatic. And I would again, thank you, Sid, for uh, for uh, being hospitable and allowing us to see your collection and giving me this uh, great collection. So without further ado, Virtual Athlete 2000, uh, sealed. You guys can see it. It's got even the security tag on the back. It's unbelievable. The price tag on this one was $19. So this was a, a very cheap game back in the day. Next is uh, Buzz Light, your star command. Looks like a 3D platformer, and I'm looking forward to playing this with my kids, so really good, happy to have that. Uh, maybe I'll do the test of time with the, uh, with them on, on that. So next is uh, Charge and Blast. It's uh, sealed, obviously, still security tag, and uh, $44 back in the day, $44.99. Uh, next is uh, Chicken Run. This is a reseal job. This is, uh, I guess, Toys R Us trying to pass off that this was new, but I'm assuming somebody bought it and brought it back but uh, it's still passed off as new because the price tag on it is $39.99. So, whatever. Uh, next is uh, Demolition Racer. Uh, you know, it looks like maybe a, uh, sorry, a Twisted Metal kind of kind of game or like a uh, Destruction Derby or on the PS1. Anyways, it's uh, $64.99 this game was unbelievable. This is the highest priced game out of the whole lot. Next is a game that I had on the Atari 2600, and I love the Atari 2600. Uh, it's, it was one of my first systems of all time. Uh, one of these games, uh, this game that I'm gonna show was probably maybe the third or fourth game I got, and I probably played the most of on that 2600, next to Asteroids, and that's Miss Pac-Man. It's got the 2D environment, it's got the 3D environments kind of aspect, or a 2D, two and a half D, I guess you wanna say. It's like it's got 2D and 3D kind of elements to it. So looking forward to playing that. Uh, next is uh, Test Drive V Rally. This, the graphics look amazing, but even though it doesn't support the the VGA box, the graphics look amazing on it. It does support the the racing steering wheel. I'm not going to pick that up, but uh, this is another great addition. Next, a game that's gone up in price, and I've never played it. I I'm only going to you know play it when I when I do my test of time. And I'll probably play it afterwards if I really enjoy it, but, and that's uh, Silver. It looks like a Diablo kind of game. I'm not sure if it's an RPG or if it's like a hack and slash, but I'm looking forward to playing this because uh, every, anything that's, that you could sink your teeth into and play a lot of tends to be very good. Not, not very good, but tends to be pretty good. And that game, I've heard a lot of critical things about it, like that it does hold up. So I want to test that out. I want to see how well it, it is. So if you guys know, if you've played it, let me know in the comments below. Next, uh, that was the end of the, the sealed game. So next up is unsealed, and that's Test Drive Le Mans. Again, the graphics look amazing. There's no VGA box. It does support the, uh, the, the racing steering wheel. These games can go straight into my collection as is without me having to do anything. Sid basically took care of these or uh, his buddy that he got it from took care of them. Amazing, amazing condition. Next up, these two right here, Tomb Raider Chronicles and Tomb, uh, Tomb Raider Last Revelation. If you played any Tomb Raider on the PS1 or the PS2 or any Tomb Raider in general, I'm sure these are the same. Uh, the graphics probably just are a lot upscaled and because the Dreamcast was more powerful than uh, than it uh, it uh, was on the PS2 on the PS1, sorry. So the graphics are going to be upscaled and look really good. Next is if uh, you played any Mario Party at Sonic Shuffle, it looks like a knockoff to Mario Party. It does contain game boards, so it is that. It has a story. Uh, I've never played it. I played Mario Party, so if there's anything like Mario Party, I'm gonna look forward to playing that. These games are all complete, by the by the way. 
They even some of them even have the receipts that came with it. Some of them even have the 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 warranty cards and all that in there. It's it's really unbelievable how well these hold up. But uh, next is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two. I love Pro Skater One. I played the hell out of Pro Skater One, and I'm looking forward to playing this. This has you create your own skate arena, create your own skater, and it has an amazing soundtrack. So how can you go wrong with a game like this? I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna say, "Oh, what a great game this is!" And without a doubt, it is. So looking forward to that. Next is uh, Fur Fighters. It's a three, a third person kind of shooter. Uh, it has a pretty cool. I don't know if you want to call that lenticular case or cover. It's. It looks pretty cool. It's, it's got uh, 3D and it's only on the outside, it's not on the inside. So that's, uh, you know, it's a little bit weird compared to a lot of other games. I see them usually on the inside of the, the manual or whatever. So that's on the outside. Uh, next is a World, uh, Worms World Party. This you could play online and uh, it was called Global Worm Worming. Uh, I've never, I never played it. EGM gave it a silver back in the day. So if this is like any other Worms game, I'm sure I could have a blast with a bunch of people over so that's that next up is space channel 5 again with that lenticular case or artwork on the inside this time it's on the manual not on the case i uh, never played it i played a lot of dreamcast games but there's a lot more than i didn't play so this is one of them and he also threw in a um a dealer disc it's a space channel 5 dealer disc i don't know what this is I've never heard of it. I'm assuming Sega of Canada or Sega of America went into stores like Toys R Us and tried to, you know, tell them about or try to sell them up on the games that they were talking about. And that being Space Channel 5, I don't know if it's a full version, a demo, a video, I don't know. I got to pull it in. The disc looks exactly the same as the Space Channel 5 game. So maybe it is the same. I, I don't know. Uh, next game is a game that has a lot of following and that is uh, Jack Ryan Radio. I heard so much about this game. I still see people quoting it and talking about it to this day. I know there was a lot of remakes on the Xbox and a few other systems. Um, really looking forward to this, uh, playing this because uh, this seems very interesting to me. Like I, if it, I think it's like a 3D world from what I understand. It's 3D world, you got five different worlds, uh, you got so many different characters. And from what I understand, you have to tag the city with graffiti and try to escape the cops at the same time. So I'm going to test that out. I can't wait to test that when I get to uh, the J's. But that's that. Uh, next up is a game I probably never play online. So I, hopefully this is not an on online game only. And that's Fantasy Star Online version 2. Uh, if this is online only, I'm not going to play it because I don't have the online capabilities. I have only the, the dial up. I don't have the broadband adapter and the broadband adapter is like, I think $180 on, on eBay and I'm not even interested, so whatever. So that's that complete, unbelievable. Now here's a, basically the, a lot of the heavy hitters coming in. A lot of games that, uh, they're all fighters, mind you, and they're all games that I'm really interested in playing. I can't wait to play. And that will, first up is uh, King of Fighters Evolution. This is probably the one of my favorite cover arts on, on the entire Dreamcast collection. This is like, I love, I don't know what it is about it. I just like the, the, the face and the fact that like the color, like it, it seems like an angry kind of, kind of pose, but I don't know. It's it just uh, this, I, I, even the black, I guess the, the black with the contrast of the red, uh, red being my favorite color. So I guess maybe that contrast really stands out to me, but I really looking forward to playing that. Uh, next, uh, Mortal Kombat Gold. This is the new and hot version. There is another version that doesn't contain that, and there's a Blitz version that has the same new and hot sticker and one without. From what I understood, this is the less buggy version or the, the buggy free version. Apparently the first version that came out had a lot of bugs and uh, they tried to repair uh, replace the, the game or whatever it was with these new and hot so i don't know if they completely fixed it but from what i understood that's what the new and hot stands for looking forward to playing it regardless nonetheless uh next up these are the last two a game i'm so happy to have uh this these two games alone basically warrants what i paid for these games i paid 200 bucks for these games and this equals to nine dollars each game nine dollars and fifty something cents each game I am so happy to have these last two. I'm happy to have them all, 
because this takes a big bite out of my Dreamcast collection, which gives me it to 121. But these two games were the, you know, the cat's meow on it. So like right there, Street Fighter Alpha 3. I'm so happy to have this. This completes my Street Fighter collection. So, so happy to have that. And I'm, I'm going to play probably the hell out of that. I want to get the fighter stick for these four games. They're, it's very expensive to get the fighting stick. It's a game that, you know, it's like a $50, $60 if not $80, depending on where you're finding it, for that fight stick. And I would like to find it, but it is what it is. If I find it cheap, then I'll pick it up. But if not, whatever. Uh, this last game is a shout-out to Grimsy42. The reason why it's a shout-out to him uh, is because he, in one of his last videos, he picked up a bunch of PlayStation games, a PlayStation 2 games, sorry, a PlayStation 3 games, let me get that correct. He picked them up and a lot of them were, you know, games that were rare and, you know, because PlayStation 3 now is kind of the older generation and GameStop is getting rid of them like it's going out of style and he's getting picking up a lot of RPGs and and uh you know keeping them for his collection and all that so he tagged uh in the in his comments he said uh you know what games did uh, any of the people that in the comments what games did you get recently and I mentioned that I picked up you know 22 game haul uh two of the games of which was uh Street Fighter Alpha 3 and this game right here Project Justice this game alone is half of what I paid for the Dreamcast uh, for the for the price. This game is about a ninety to hundred dollar game, depending on where you're going. Again, uh, but this game is uh, I paid two hundred dollars for the lot. This game is a big bite of it. So if you do the math, if this game I paid hundred dollars for, then every other game I paid for five bucks or less. So this uh, unbelievable. I'm so happy to have this one. This was a this was a big title off my list. I still have a lot more to go, but this is a very very big title off my list. I've never seen this out in the wild. I've never seen this uh, at any really uh, real store, and if I did, it was really really expensive. So to have this in my collection, I this is basically a forefront of my collection right now. This is a continuation to Rival Schools, and uh, Rival Schools. If you ever played on the PS One, was a very very fun. Uh, fighter it was like a, I think if I remember correct it was a two and a half D again uh, fighter or 3d fighter I don't know if it was anything like Street Fighter EX I'm trying to remember this is going back to like when I was 17 18 years old I don't remember a hundred percent but I remember playing it and I did enjoy it I had a burn copy of it uh, when I had my ps1 modded so I'm really for looking forward to playing that but again, guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe in the comments below. Let me know what you guys picked up. Uh, hit me up on, on all our social media, on Instagram, Facebook, on, on Twitter. Let me know what you guys uh, think of the video. Let me know what you guys picked up. I want to know what you guys picked up as of late. And thanks, guys.